Let's start our journey by taking a good look at the property animation framework. We will cover how to create a property animation, how to customize it, and how things work under the hood. Remember the music album app we saw in the first video? Let's get our hands dirty and build a part of the animation on the album details screen. We have some starter files for this project available for download via the links in the teacher's notes. Pause me for a minute and download the project files or clone the repo from GitHub using the link in teacher's notes. There are also links if you need any help on using GitHub for Android Studio projects. Okay, so with the project downloaded and then open in Android Studio, let's expand app, then res, then layout, and then open up the file activity album detail. Let's switch to the design view down here. And here we see that the layout consists of a few image views, layout containers, and a button. We are going to animate this button. It is an image button, and its ID is FAB fab, which we can see over here in the properties view. By the way, fab refers to floating action button, which was introduced in Google's material design. You'll see a lot of mentioning of it in the material design guidelines. It's a button that appears to float on the screen, and when we tap on it, an action happens. Makes sense, right? Now let's open the album detail activity file in the Java folder. So let's expand the first package here, and then double click on album detail activity. The fields declared at the beginning will be bound to the views in the layout when the app starts. For example, this fab field will be the button we want to animate. Once again, we're using the awesome library called Butterknife to bind these fields. If you need a refresher on what Butterknife is and how it's used, check the links in the teacher's notes. All right, so let's write some code. Under the onCreate method, let's create a new method called animate, private void animate. To test this, we're going to call the animate method from this on album art click method so that we can easily check out the animation by tapping on the album art. So let's just call animate. And now how do we make the button grow? A view has two properties called scale X and scale Y, which control how much of the view will be scaled horizontally and vertically. And we can actually verify this by checking if there is a getter and setter method for that property. So if we type fab dot, and then we start typing set for one of the setter methods, SC for scale, here we see scale X and scale Y. So these seem like the exact things we are looking for. We'll now create property animations on scale X and scale Y. Let's take a quick look at the documentation for setting the scale of views. So here in the method description, we see that a value of one means that no scaling is applied. Well, we want our button to end up at that existing scale where no scaling is applied. So we will end with a scale of one. As the initial state of the animation, we want the button to be just a tiny point. So we set both scale X and scale Y to zero. Essentially, this will start at nothing and scale into the full appropriate size. So let's keep typing here, set scale X, and we're going to start at zero. Then we'll do the same thing for scale Y, fab.set scale Y, also at zero. So now we have a point. And now we'll add the animation code, fab.animate. And then we want to animate scale X up to one. Notice I'm chaining all these methods together. We can animate scale Y, also up to one. And then we chain at the very end, start, to start the animation. So that's it. This is the simplest way to create and play a property animation. Note that we have another Fluent API like we've seen before that allows us to chain our method calls together to create nice elegant statements that clearly describe how the animation is supposed to work. So now let's run the app and see how it looks. I'm gonna click run up here. And then I've already started one of my emulators. So I'm gonna select the Nexus 5 here, click okay. Okay, and our app has loaded. So we didn't look at the initial layout for album list activity, but it's just a grid view of different album covers, thumbnails of the actual albums. So if I click on the first one here, it'll bring us to the detail view. And now if I click on the album art, we should see some animation. Oh, cool, there it is. You see that down there? Our fab button starts at a little tiny point and animates to full size. Very cool.